And you'll notice once you load something, you'll see something here in the pads. You can see here, I can hit these pads and nothing's happening. As you can see it move up and down there on the screen. This pad right there, that's the first sound slot and the sound is already there. Now, if I want to load and I want to use the machine micro to load something, it's pretty simple. I want to probably head to another project. So let's say I go here to Urban, right? And here I am in Urban right here. And so you'll notice that you're going to have the view here and the bottom will be Urban and then right here will be the current project loaded in. And let's say I scroll down. So in order to scroll down, I just want to go to here, turn the knob, and scroll down. Turn the knob to the right, and I have a track I want to load. It's called Whip Crack. I go to here, I press this down, and now I have an option. I can cancel, discard, or save. And you can do it right here from the machine. F1 is cancel, F2 is discard, and 3 is save. I'll press F2. Once I do, we're loaded in. Now, working with the micro is kind of easy, but it's always faster using your computer. Like, for example, here I'm in projects. If I want to go directly to right here and go to sounds, I can. But if I'm in projects here, my cursor's here. You notice F1 has been lit for filter, and then I'm in the browser. Now I know I can turn this knob to the left, and I can navigate here to sounds. Let's say you want to go here to sounds. And you see drums there, right? And you want to go through these sounds. You just need to go to here, click on drums, and then we get a list right below that of the kind of drums that we can load. So I can go here to clap, and we get a list of all the claps available to us. Let's go to instruments. Now here in instruments, we can see the bass, brass, guitar, keys. I'll select on keys, and we see a list of keys, but other options as well. This is our filter. So we went to instruments, then we got the option of the different types of instruments. I selected keys, and then we have the option of acoustic, electric, or synthetic. So now I'm gonna continue more by just showing you the software, the browser first, and then we'll show you how you can do the same thing on the machine micro. So you can go here to acoustic, and now it loads all these acoustic items in, right? Now, what happens here is that I have these types and it filters down to what you want to look for. You can grab this and once you do, you can load it into an empty sound slot. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to sort of like go here and go to new. It says the project was modified. Do you want to save it? No, get rid of it. I've got a brand new project to work with. Now, if I want, I can sit here and boogie. And if I click on this boogie piano, I can load it in here. So I'll do that right now. And once I do, it loaded right here in this one space. You'll notice here on the machine micro, it's right here. I hit that, that's just one sound, not a full piano. So to see the piano, I can go to right here. And now you can see all the notes that are selected, all 16 we have available to us to play right now. Now as I hit a pad, you'll notice it lights up. Now I go back here to my sequence section. Now to go to the keyboards with the machine micro, it's pretty simple. We'll press shift, then we're going to go to here, it says pad mode. I press that there. And you can now play the keys from the machine micro pad section. I'm going to do that, pressing shift and pressing the pad mode button once again. And I'm back here. Loading the sounds was pretty simple, right? And so you can go back here to edit and we can undo or press Command Z. Do that, it's done. Now, I can go to this sound. Let's say I go to here. I hit that one time, it won't load. But here in the bottom here, see this little button here? I can click on that. And if I hit something right there, I got that. I hit it one time and it loaded into the first sound slot of group A. So this is my load button. If I select the item from my list, it's been populated from my filters. Remember I went to instrument, keys, then I got acoustic, 
and I selected any one of these items with this load button lit, it will load that into the selected sound slot. This is important to realize. It'll do it automatically. And then you can test it out. You can always go back to here, the piano keys. See if you like it. If not, pick the next one. And then that'll load in that slot. 